So the way my site is set up, A, it's obviously a demo site. Um, so all the information on here is very, very made up. Um, my site is a multi-site. So it has a primary and a secondary on there. Um, and so, so as I go through it, you will see some features um, ask you if you want to share it with the whole academy or if I just want to share it with the individual school. Um, this means there are certain features that are available only to multi-site users and there's also certain features that aren't available to multi-site users. They're not major, they're not deal breakers or anything like that, it just means it's a bit of a tweak. Um, but as I go through it, you will see um, what I mean. So the way I've got this set up is it's with the impression that my primary school has different form groups within each year, which is why I've got class groups um, as in year groups here. Um, some of your schools might be different. You might only have one form group per year or you might want to use it as key stages. Um, you might want to use it as a teacher's name. Entirely up to you. The theory is that staff, parents and teachers all log in and see this page. This is their landing page of the dashboard. Parents have that um, can go th through by clicking here, going through to their own course. They can, of course, also go into the different year groups. This is just a poll that I've put in there to show you how that can work. This is kind of like an information um, section. If there's anything that you want to spread the word on, um, you can put it on here. And of course, the staff room is here. This is very, very flexible. You can put whatever information you want on here. All you have to do is click on these three dots and add more content. So if you wanted to use the apps in the library, you can do so. Things like Purple Mash um, are avail is available in there. Um, the very popular one that I think a lot of schools quite enjoy is the rich content. So this is where you can put text, you can put pictures, videos, anything you like in there and create something similar to this um, that kind of like hyperlinks through to other pages. You can also put images in here, um, files and folders and um, if you've got a Twitter page, link it to your Twitter page. So as you will see on here, to make it quite appealing and quite interactive to um, the younger generation, I have put a, um, an image here. So this image is a, the banner for the site. Now the theory is that this image is probably somewhere on in my school or it's on the website, just so when parents and students log in, they see a kind of like a consistency. Um, this is my MK Academy logo and to add these it's simply clicking on settings. If this is greyed out just click on it and it enables the branding. Change your banner picture to anything you want and if you're a multi-site you can't actually change your logo. Usually it would mean if you're on a trust, if you're on a, um, on a multi-academy trust, it will be the trust, is, trust image that would go on there. But you can put a picture up here that has your um, logo and not use a picture here if you're on a local authority site. And again, you can put your school name on there to um, give it a bit of branding as well. So I'm going to go into now one of my year groups and show you the layouts on that. Please do note that all of this, the things I'm showing you here are not the way that you have to do it. They're the ways that I am recommending and I know that some of my schools are doing it. Um, it is always best to sit down and have a conversation with your key account manager to be able to understand what's the best way for the school to do it and what might be more time saving for you as a school. So if I go into my year three course, you will see again, I have a landing page. This time it's taken me away from my group, so away from my dashboard here and into a course, which is year three. But it's land instead of landing on the overview page, it's actually landed me on a 
specific page. So in a little while, I will show you how to change the landing pages. Um, but I just want to explain the theory behind this. So if they land on a page like this, being young children and being parents, it's just easier for them to see this page and click on what they need to. So the theory is here that they these subjects um, are folders within this course that has relevant resources that are being used to teach in class. Down here is the classrooms. So these classes is where you will put the homework, the parents' evening bookings, the um, pictures that are specific to that classroom. So these take you to internal folders, as anyone in year three can see this. Um, any parent that has the child in year three or staff members etc these are so my holly class teacher is the only person that will see that the children will see the, what's in there and the parents would see what's in there these parents won't see what's in this class this class parents won't see what's in this class it just means that if there are there are pictures and you don't want them to be shared with other form classrooms etc um, work that's being done, homework that's being submitted. It just protects um, children in that sense. Um, you don't have to do it like this. You can go straight in and have it as your um, classroom. You might only have one classroom and then you want folders that shows um, things like history, geography, etc. Entirely up to the school. Right, and homework here, again, it is if the school has a generic homework that the whole of year three get. If it is, then you might find it easier putting it in here. If it's gonna be classroom specific, then you probably wanna put it in here.